Hello, in the following video we will see Shopify's skeleton theme. This theme was released a couple of months ago and is what should be used as a starting point when developing a new custom Shopify theme if you want to start from a much less opinionated base than something like Dawn or Horizon. And that is because even though both of those themes have their source code available and you could use them as a starting point, Shopify's team has already taken plenty of decisions in how they structure the code, which patterns they follow, which sections and snippet they create, and so on. And if that aligns with what you have in mind, then that's great, you can use them. But if not, then it's a lot of additional work to try to adapt those themes to your needs. So this is where the skeleton theme comes up. This theme just has the very basics of a Shopify theme. So you don't have to start with an empty directory, but that's almost as far as it goes. Now, with all of that being said, let's take a look at how to use it and see an overview of what is included. As scrolling down over here, we can see that we need to have the Shopify CLI installed. You can get it installed by clicking on this link over here. There is also a video in the channel where I go through that. If you want to check that, I will be linking that in the video description. It is also recommended that you have the Shopify Liquid VS Code extension installed, as it has syntax highlighting, linting, and so on. And then to actually get the theme, you have two options. You can do a git clone from this URL, or you can just run Shopify theme in it. I prefer running Shopify theme in it, but you can use whichever method you want. So from this empty project, I already have the Shopify CLI installed, so I am going to run Shopify theme in it. And over here, it is going to ask me the name of the theme. Whatever name I set here, it will create a folder with this name and clone the theme over there. In this case, I don't want that to happen, so I will just put a period over here and then it will clone it right here. Then it asks me if I want to include large language model instructions in case I am using any of these tools. For now, I will just click on skip, but if you are using any of these, feel free to select them. And now the theme is ready to be used. We can also do some cleanup as some of these files are not necessarily relevant to developing a theme the way we are going to be doing. So for example, code of conduct, you can either modify this file or remove it altogether. Same goes for contributing. And the readme file as well, if you are going to keep it, maybe modify it to something that is more relevant to what you are developing, as as soon as you start adding code to this theme, then it is no longer the skeleton theme, it is your theme. After that, let's run Shopify theme dev to open this theme locally. This will connect to the latest store we have worked with. In this case, it is this one. So I will press P. And we have the theme running locally. As you can see, it is very bare bones. We have this page over here that is just content. We have a link to customer accounts, which are the new customer accounts. We have a cart link over here, which is empty, and we can go to checkout. And currently, there are not even links to the product pages, even though this store does have a couple of products but we can directly navigate to a product page such as this one and we can see how that looks like in this theme in this case we have the product image we have the title price the description of the of this product we can select over here the variant and it shows a price a quantity and add that to the card or by now by now we'll directly go to checkout at the card we'll go to the card page as you can see over here then i could increase the quantity by manually changing this to, for example, four. And here is a checkout button. And I can go to checkout. For the collections page, we can go to collections, automated collection, which is a collection generated with this store. And we can see here that it has a very basic grid. We can see that here it just shows the products. There is no filtering available. There is no sorting available nor anything of that, of that sort. We can click on an item and it takes us to that product page, but that is as far as this goes. 
Now go into the theme editor. I will press E over here to open the theme editor for this theme. And we can see that we have a hello world section. And there are a couple of other sections here. We have collection grid and a custom section, which is empty and probably just supports a bunch of vlogs. Let's open this. And yes, we can add a few of the blocks we have available. We have text over here to add something like hello world. And we have some layout blocks. In this case, just column and row. So for example, if I wanted to create a row and then over here, add two columns. I could do that with this. And then we have one text here, another one here. And we can see that both of these are in the same row. So you could say that it is like a very basic wrapper for Flexbox. And finally, let's have a quick look at the code base, starting with theme.liquid over here. This is the entry point. Over here, we can see that we are rendering this CSS variables snippet with a bunch of CSS variables for the font, some page width, page, mar page margin, and so on. These are coming from the global settings. So if we go to config, settings schema, we can see over here that this theme comes with very basic settings, which you can extend. This T syntax over here is because the theme is also using translations. It has that set up in case you want to use translations for your theme and support multiple languages. However, if you are just intending to use this in a single language, you can come over here to settings schema.json and start replacing this with just plain English. So for example, here you could type colors and it will work just as well. Next, we have over here the critical CSS for this page to work. If we click on this, we can see that it is a very basic style sheet and we are preloading this. Then we have the meta tags. This is a snippet that controls all of that. And then we have the content for header, which is required in Shopify and it has all of the different scripts and apps that your store has installed. Then in the body, we are rendering the header group. So let's go to sections over here. We have header group, which is just rendering a section of type header. If we go to the header over here, we can see how that looks like. Very basic. It has the liquid over here and right down below, it has a style sheet tag with the different styles that this section supports and then a very basic schema. And the footer group is more of the same. We have only a single section over here, which is the footer. And if we go to footer.liquid, we have the liquid content for the footer. Then right down below, we have a style sheet tag and then the schema, which is also very basic. And we have a couple of more sections, but they are much more of the same. We just have the markup over here. Some don't even have a style tags like this one. Some do. And yes, that's roughly it. The idea of this theme is that it is so bare bones that you will only add what you need. So for example, if your store doesn't need a card drawer, then don't add it. But if you want it, you can add it yourself. Or you can copy it from something like Dawn or from Horizon and place it over here. That way, if you want to build something very custom, you don't have to keep fighting the decisions other developers have made already in the team you used as a baseline. Instead, you can use your very own custom implementation and add that. And that's it for this video. As you can see, it is a very simple overview of a very simple team. Hopefully you found it helpful, and if that was the case, remember to like and subscribe for more Shopify related content. If you want to learn more about Liquid Shopify development, there is a playlist in the channel full of videos that go over the different aspects of a Liquid Shopify theme. I will be leaving that in the video description. And with that, I will see you all in the next one.